हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल मिशन नेट फिजिक्स एग्जाम एंड गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर क्विकली गोना डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज डॉपलर्स इफेक्ट सो गाइस फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट द क्वेश्चंस इन योर अपकमिंग सी एस नेट गेट जेस्ट एंड ऑल अदर सिमिलर एग्जाम्स टू वी विल क्विकली कंसिडर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इन दिस वीडियो टुडे सो कीप ऑन वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड सो दैट यू विल नॉट मिस एनी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट यू विल ऑल्सो हैव अ गुड कमांड आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक एंड इट्स मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मुले सो लेट्स क्विकली स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन ऑल्सो गाइज इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन दिस चैनल दैट इज मिशन एट फिजिक्स एग्जाम दैन यू कैन इवन सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन बिलो दिस वीडियो नाउ क्विकली लेट्स स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन अबाउट इट सो बेसिकली गाइज द फर्स्ट थिंग वी आर गोना कंसिडर इज वॉट इज द डॉपलर इफेक्ट सो इफ यू आर गोना टॉक अबाउट द रिलेटिव मोशन बिटवीन सोर्स एंड ऑब्जर्वर क्लियर सो हेयर वी विल कंसिडर द रिलेटिव मोशन बिटवीन सोर्स एंड ऑब्जर्वर to explain the doppler's effect so basically whatever change in frequency of light will be there okay change in frequency of light okay we will be able to observe due to the relative motion between source and observer this effect okay due to which we are going to observe the change in frequency of light okay so this effect is known as doppler's effect i hope the point will be clear to all of you change in frequency of light due to the relative motion between source and observer is called or is known as the doppler effect of light okay now you can even consider the things like this let's say this is a source okay and this source is moving in this particular direction and it is going to have some velocity v okay and here if i am going to consider the expression of e corresponding to this source let's say it is h nu not nu not will be the frequency of light in the frame of source clear i will even write the uh, symbols and their meaning what we are going to consider at this particular point and all so let's say this is a moving object or a source okay and this is the velocity of motion uh like uh corresponding to the direction of motion basically and here we can consider an observer at this point clear so you can consider the observer like this done and here if we are going to consider the frequency because what is the definition or how we can explain the doppler's effect i have told you it is related to the change in frequency of light due to relative motion between source and observer clear so here if i am going to consider the frequency nu which has been observed observed by the observer clear so in this case what will happen if we are going to talk about this frequency nu this is let's say the s dash frame the moving object or the source and this is going to be the s frame then so in this case if you want to write the expression for e dash okay so e dash or e okay so first of all you can consider that part e dash will basically be related to this part that is the source okay so e dash will be equal to what e minus p x v e is the energy term we are taking here p x v upon root 1 minus v square upon c square in terms of energy like you need some formula sometimes so this is how you can consider it and if we are going to consider the relation between e and nu so we all know e is equal to h nu then and here e will be corresponding to the observer and e dash corresponding to the source we are taking okay so these symbols have shown in the figure or the diagram too now next point if you will further consider consider the values here so it will be h nu not is equal to h nu minus since we know momentum will be equal to what e upon c so it's going to be h nu upon c you will be able to write at this place i'm just going to put that value at this point it's going to be h nu upon c okay and since in the direction okay of motion we need to consider it so that's why the component we will have will be cos theta okay h nu upon c into cos theta into v okay that's what you are going to have at this place okay 
because v cos theta that is corresponding to the direction of motion and what is theta here theta is this angle then that's why this direction will have the component v cos theta then next point upon root 1 minus v square upon c square clear why we have considered the formula in terms of energy so that at at some point of time in some question if they have provided you the information or data in such a way that they have given you the energy value directly so this is how you can even use this formula directly and then you can proceed further now once you are going to simplify it so you can take h common from here to and you will be able to just get this this expression clear even you can take new common so right now if we are taking h common we will be able to simplify it in this manner and later on you can even take new common so what you will be able to get i'm just going to write it at this place it will give you new is equal to new not root 1 minus v square upon c square that is after cross multiplication and simplification 1 minus v okay cos theta upon c so you can see uh, here also the new has been taken common from both the sides and this is how new you will be able to find now let me just tell you what new is representing here and what new not basically in the figure we have considered it but what exactly new not is here it's going to be the actual frequency you can say the actual frequency related to the source done and what about the new that is the frequency received by the observer clear frequency received by the observer or also known as apparent frequency clear or you can write it as the frequency received by the observer okay now after knowing about the final expression which i have mentioned here at this place you also need to know about the different cases which are like the possible cases and generally in any such type of questions we are going to have these cases so what is that if in any case distance between source and observer that's going to decrease which means observer moves or is going to move towards the source direction okay so in that case what will happen in the case number 1 theta will be zero when theta is zero when i am considering that the distance between source and observer is decreasing distance is basically decreasing at this point or we are considering that observer is moving towards the source direction okay so in this case the new expression you will have equal to new not root 1 plus v upon c you can even focus on one more point new i am writing like this and v i am writing like this okay so here we have just uh, considered this part in v but not in new new is representing frequency v is representing the velocity done now so 1 plus v upon c and 1 minus v upon c clear here new is greater than new not done and observer is moving towards the source direction or the distance between source and observer is decreasing in this case but when the distance is increasing and the observer is moving away okay or you can say in the backward direction from the source so in that case theta you will take as 180 degrees and in that case new will be equal to new not root 1 minus v upon c upon 1 plus v upon c and here new is going to be less than new not this is how you are going to get the expression and all these were some of the very 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 important expressions related related to the doppler's effect and i hope each and everything will be clear to all of you guys also memorize these formulae okay revise them again and again and again and again so that you will be able to make a good command on this topic and you will not have any difficulty in solving any such type of question so guys thank you so much for watching this video till the end and uh, yeah revision is must whenever you are preparing any formula uh, so thank you so much for watching this video now i'm just quickly going to provide you the information about the unacademy plus subscription so guys as most of you will be familiar with the unacademy plus subscription and the important courses which are going on on unacademy plus for your upcoming csir net and gate exams preparation so if you want to attend the live classes of well structured and well planned courses by the top educators on unacademy plus 
then you can take the unacademy plus subscription also you can use and apply the referral code that is anjali arora as mentioned here no space in between the spelling should be same that's how you need to write it and apply it and by using and by applying this referral code you will get the 10% discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount also guys there is unacademy iconic subscription if you want to get some more 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 benefits uh, okay along with the plus subscription benefits then even you can take the unacademy iconic subscription but if you will take the unacademy plus subscription what are the benefits you will get let me just tell you about them so doubt clearing sessions will be there guys in each and every course we are going to have the doubt clearing sessions in some uh, like after some classes so that's how you will be able to ask about your doubts in the doubt clearing sessions and everything will be clear to you let's say if any day you are going to watch the recordings of the sessions or even in the previous classes you are having any doubts in any course so you can just ask about them in the doubt clearing sessions too and everything will get clear to you recordings of the live classes will be available so even any day if you are not able to attend the live session you can even watch the recordings or if at this point of time you are taking the subscription and let's say any course is already going on and you want to cover up the remaining part to which you have missed or you didn't attend the sessions corresponding to that then guys you will even be able to watch the recordings of those sessions as recordings will be available to you and that's how you will not miss anything now one more thing that is mock test will be there which will surely help you to analyze your preparation and to know how well you are able to manage your time while solving the questions clear so this is how the unacademy plus subscription will help you to cover up even the important concepts important uh topics tricks and you will be able to get the guidance by the top educators so guys you can use and apply the referral code that is anjali arora as mentioned here uh, no space in between the spelling should be same that's how you need to write it and apply it thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you and if you are new on this channel that is mission net physics exam then you can even subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and if you think that the, that the videos are going to help you then you can even share the videos with your friends because the videos will be helpful for them too thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you